some objects, uh, some uh, homoerotic, as it were, types of scenes. I could go into uh, specific detail. I'm not sure Bloomington, Indiana, is uh, how how uh, explicit they would like me to be, but uh, it's oh, nothing. Just, just tell us what. It, just lay it on the line for us. <laughs> uh, there's two bull whips up an anus. Be, be yeah. medical about it. There's two yeah, bull whips Robert up an anus. There's a finger up the urethra, and uh, what was? There's and a there's forearm urine, up the rectum, and there's a uh, urine, urine in, in the mouth. In the mouth. Yeah, that's about as. There's four or five photographs five. that that are pretty pretty graphic. Uh, pretty graphic. Yeah, that's a good word. So. I wasn't. So offended. what? I don't. I don't no, care. I wasn't. Offended. You know, if that's what people really want to do, then yeah. I hope they enjoy it. We are Germans, and we are not as uh, conservative as uh, Cincinnati is. Uh, basically, we've found no problems with any one of the pictures. I thought it was an excellent exhibit. I really did. It's worth to see it. It's, it's, it's worth to see it. There's I mean, some beautiful work. Th there is. There's some very, yeah, you said it's beautiful. Some yeah. of it's really good. You know, some of it's not in my particular taste. You know, it's not really what I... But then some Enjoy. people like Elvis on velvet, you know, and I think that's... <laughs> the Naval Corps show is scheduled to run until May 26th, so it's possible that the trial could last longer than the exhibit itself. Yes, we are going, what we will do is at about 4.30, we will put someone at the end of the line. You're in line, we will stay open until you see it. Okay? I think there's people here because it's controversial. Uh, I've worked here for the last six months, and I have never seen this kind of tour turn out for an exhibition. Um, many of us within the Contemporary Art Center wanted the exhibition to come and go with relatively little or no, you know, commotion. I, I've been waiting to see this since last February myself. Um, I didn't want to incite people. Or I didn't want to upset anyone. I mean, I'm far, far be it for me to tip over, over uh, the proverbial apple cart, but. Um, I, I just really resent a group or segment of the population telling me what I can and cannot see. You know, shoot, I can go die for my country. Um, you know, I can do a lot of things for my, but now they're telling me I cannot see something and trying to base it on an insanity issue when it's, it's, that's what's obscene. You have to draw the lines at art galleries. Um, if you've spoken to anyone who's lived through Nazi Germany or the Holocaust, they say this is exactly exactly how Nazis started out. And I hate to sound so dramatic, but it's the truth. I mean, Nazis started out by censoring art, literature, performances, um, music, and there's nothing good to ever come of censorship, in my opinion. The museum's obscenity trial could take several weeks. The Maplethorpe show is scheduled to run until May 26th, so it's possible the trial could last longer than the exhibit itself. Charles Thomas, ABC News, Cincinnati things that can be considered offensive. I think that, for me personally, the, the idea that the police and the county prosecutor and the sheriff would want to censor um, this exhibition is offensive. And I think that is a form of obscenity, too, because that is a, the rape of our Constitution and our First Amendment rights as a, individual Americans to choose to see or not to see this at work. And I think that there, from what I saw from the faces of people, I don't think many people were shocked. I don't think people were offended or found the works obscene. Um, in the two hours or so that I was in the exhibition hall, I don't, I did not see people gasping or, or turning in, in away, going, "Oh, that's horrible." I think I saw more people wondering, questioning, what was this photographer trying to achieve with his own works. Um, so I think that, in that sense, there was more to it than, than what meets the eye. I think there's the community at large is saying, we want to be able to choose. Don't you think it's sort of ironic that they're advertising the U.S. Constitution and they're doing this stuff in the city? Don't you really? <laughs> And I think that's all tied in the matter of freedom of conscience. I, I may not agree with another person's position, 
but we never know when our conscience is being attacked. We better support other people's rights, or we're all going to lose our rights. Ready? Three, two, one. The museum's obscenity trial could last several weeks. And with the Maplethorpe show scheduled to run until May 26th, it's possible the trial could last longer than the exhibit itself. Charles Thomas, ABC News, Cincinnati. I think the big hype is uh, basically, you know, at first I thought it was the obscenity thing. But after viewing the photographs, I fail to see. I, I mean, there are, there are basically um, certain guidelines that people follow. Um, as far as regarding to obscenity. And one of the guidelines is incitement of lust, and I, I find it very difficult that any of these photographs incite any amount of lust. Um, I think what it boils down to is your um, First Amendment rights, okay? Um, your freedom of expression, your freedom to voice your opinion, uh, which are very, uh, very important rights. I mean, when people start messing around with our right to speak up, I, you know, who knows when they'll stop, all right? Um, this is not being funded by any um, tax-paying money. This is being funded by Lightborn Corporation, um, by the person's admission fees from membership. So, I mean, there should be no concerns as far as um, taxpayers' money being used in wrong ways. Um, what's the hype? I think if the real core of the issue is um, homoeroticism, okay? And I state that because for the fact he has a whole entire catalog of nude women. There are nude women up in the works. There are explicit works of nude women, okay? But uh, you don't hear a lot of media attention on those. Um, the child photographs, that's being dirty-minded. I mean, it, this, these are all my opinions, but the child photographs, that's being clear-cut dirty-minded, okay? Um, I know my mom has a whole album full of pictures of me naked, okay? I, in my experience, babysitting children, nudity uh, becomes very natural for them, okay? And, and just to have pictures of new children up there by themselves, um, romping around their living room, and to say it's child pornography, it's absurd. It's, it's completely ridiculous. Um, and I, I totally resent, I think it basically boils down to this. You can come and see it if you want. If you don't, stay home. We're not forcing our views on anybody, okay? And I should, I expect the same back. I shouldn't expect someone to force their views upon me. And that's, you know, basically how I feel about the whole thing. There are some photos I think that people will find offensive, but I mean, there are some nudes and I think there are some pretty interesting photos that people will find offensive if, they're not, if they are going in thinking that this is a, a still life photo session. It's not. It's a photo session of people and, and of sensuality and sexuality, and I think Maplethorpe, in his own way, captured um, the sexuality of people. Whether it was homoerotica or heteroerotica, he captured that sensuality and sexuality on film. And I think it's important for people to realize that not everything is so black and white, but there are many shades of gray. The museum's obscenity trial could take several weeks. Well, I came down a matter of principle primarily. I've been in uh, Cincinnati now almost uh, 45 years, and uh, I've seen uh, that Hamilton County and the city of Cincinnati, they're really retarded a good deal on a matter of freedom of, of rights. and. The uh, prosecuting attorney here, Simon Lees, has been strong against uh, what he calls obscenity. Well, I think everyone has a, a right to decide what is obscene. And uh, we may not like another person's taste, but we have no right to say they can't look at it if they're moved to do so. Well, this can lead, they can, uh, I'm, they may think that my ideas are obscene. And uh, then uh, that they uh, want to just take me out of circulation. And I think that uh, if you really are consistent in terms of uh, just carrying this to a logical conclusion, uh, you can say, well, somebody, I uh, don't like his ideas, and let's get rid of him. 
Uh, Mr. Lease, uh, who is the prosecutor, is a strong advocate of uh, capital punishment. And uh, so this is, to me, this is the ultimate censorship and just uh, blot blotting out a person's life. And we have a right to see what we want to see. I can't govern another person's taste. And if we have, a, I'm thinking of those who believe in a deity uh, and freedom of choice, uh, God, I'm my background, I'm a clergyman, and my uh, belief is that uh, we can go ahead and blow ourselves up as, as a human race, but God's not going to interfere and say that we can do what may violate truth and violate other people's rights. He's not going to make, ro make uh, robots out of us. And I think nobody has a right to tell me what I should see, what I should do. I may make a mistake. We all make mistakes. But we got enough problems keeping ourselves straightened out without going around and straightening everybody else's tastes out. So I'm here, I'm interested in art. I'm no art connoisseur, but I thought there was a, a real principle involved here. And I even, I'm a Scotch Presbyterian. I even weighed my senior citizenship and paid more for my ticket because I wanted to uh, affirm the stand that they're taking and, and not closing this up and submitting to the censorship of this community.